channel fam welcome back to this channel if you're new here smash the subscribe button down below don't forget the notification bell because we post three videos every single week and yes i'm talking really 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 fast because i am almost late to my ob appointment i have my 38 week appointment which is crazy that i'm saying that i feel like i just came from here lucas is allowed but Rebecca's in Fort Lauderdale, so she can't watch Lillian for us. So I gotta do this appointment by myself. Hopefully, I can be able to film a little bit of it. Every time we try to, it doesn't work out, so then we just never talk about it. Yes, I am definitely, definitely starting to look more and more pregnant. But it's crazy that I'm like seriously right there. Comment down below if you're excited. Comment down below if you're anxiously waiting, because seriously, I am too. Right now it's 10, 12, so I gotta hurry up inside because my appointment's at 10, 15. I just wanted to start the vlog and open it up. I literally ran at the house I finished editing the vlog that you guys saw on Thursday and I ran at the house so I kind of I'm kind of no eyebrows I'm walking that game but it's okay because I have a mask I'm gonna cover my face and they're probably gonna see it <laughs> but anyways I see you guys inside Bye. I'm now in the back about to get checked up they're gonna do a surface check on me to check if I'm dilating or yes dilating or effaced so yeah hopefully I could film something how are you We are on our way to Publix right now. We were going to bake Lily in a random cake because why not? But we have no applesauce and as you guys know, she's extremely allergic to eggs. So we can't put eggs in cake. So we're on our way to Publix because Lillian spoiled guys. Two big major things. One, I'm actually 1.5 centimeters dilated. We're, Ooh. Going. Ooh. we're going to the hospital tonight. Yes. I actually do feel like I'm going to go to labor very soon. Today. Today? <laughs> My big indicator is like swelling and I feel like I'm starting to swell more. So I think I'm close. I don't know. I'm getting a lot of Braxton Hicks. Me and my Papa Joe are actually gonna come on Tuesday to help, you know, watch the line while we're in at the hospital because Luke's the only one allowed. So let's hope that I, I could hold off till Tuesday. Oh, another huge thing she said was. Oh, into the unknown. Oh, into the unknown. <laughs> You've only watched like a quarter of the movie. <laughs> another main thing is that she said that when I'm actually laboring, I actually have to wear a mask, which is super shocking. I don't know how that's gonna look like. I don't know how I feel about that. It's just so crazy to me, the time that we're living now where, you know, you experience completely different labors and deliveries. I just don't know what to say about it. I'm trying not to say I'm gonna be stressed out about it because it is out of my hands and I just gotta give it to God, honestly, at this point. It's just so weird. Ugh, labor in the mask? Anyways. So hopefully I make it to my 20, 39th appointment and then so I can ask her more questions about it. But if not, I might call the hospital to see if, do we bring a mask? Do they provide us a mask? True. It's a mask that they give us like special mask where you can actually breathe better in it. I don't know. I would probably rather like a, like a face shield or something. To, you know, so it's not like on right. you, but like in front of you. I don't know, that's, ugh. Cause I wore a mask to do my hair and for five hours and I, my head was pounding. I thought I was gonna pass out. So I'm hoping that, um, I don't know, I don't know. Comment down below what you think about that. How does it look, Lily? Beautiful. But we're almost at Publix. We'll see you guys when we get inside. All right, Lily is ready to go to Publix. I'm gonna stay in the car. So go ahead, get your applesauce, okay? Be quick. We have our ingredients for the cake. We had to take a pit stop and go to Publix to grab the <laughs> applesauce. But we're here. What happened? Ew, what is that? No clue. I wouldn't touch it though. Yes, I made some goat horns for her yesterday What's per her this? request because we saw the goats. So we gotta bake the cake and then when you wake up, we'll cut it into the Grinch. No, I'm gonna cut it right now. But there is no cake. How are you gonna cut something that's not there? You say, Mama. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so what we need, let me get the measuring cups. Okay. Are you the first thing? Okay. Mega Good job, baby. One cup of water. And half a cup of vegetable oil. So we need the, the half. Remember half, Lily? Yeah. Mama, half a pizza. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that was good. That was good. That was good. Okay. 
Dump right, it. dump it in. Good job. Whoa, that was like a good fancy pork. And then. Then what is it? <laughs> Not quite. Okay. Substituting applesauce with eggs in cake. <laughs> Again! No, no, no! I'm allergic. You are allergic, baby. No eggs. Remember, no eggs. Yes, that's where we got the applesauce, babe. What does it say? Eggs. He said substitute eggs. So when you say substitute, it means replace. Like instead of eggs, we're going to use applesauce. One. One. Go ahead. Three. Three. Whisk. Whisk. Mm -hmm. Mix it up, mix it up, mix it up right now. Okay. Tastes like candy, I guess, sweet. See, why are you eating it? Why are you eating it? One more. That's your last one, okay? Is it good? <laughs> okay. Does your child have no energy? Does your child need a pick-me-up? Easy, get some cake and make them lick the batter off the whisk. They sure would act really hyper after. Okay, wow, that's, now you need anonymous. <laughs> Lily Dennis is good. <laughs> Look at her face. Mmm. <laughs> tired. Yeah, baby, you have all your spit on that. <laughs> um, we're just gonna pop it in the oven and wait 28 to 33 minutes. So hopefully she'll be napping. But oh, she I'm will be. That, no, she will like, be. She'll be done eating. Lily, let's go have our lunch. Let's go eat lunch. The hospital is also gonna call you. They're gonna just let you know about the COVID testing that they will need to do. Um, in your case, because you're OB, they're gonna be doing the rapid test. So um, it's two and a half hours prior to your actual time. Mm -hmm. So um, don't worry about the time right now. When the hospital contacts you, they'll go over time with you, okay? And if you decline the testing, then they're not going to deliver the baby. I have to say that. No, I would That's never do that. that have. Um, and will you have someone accompanying you to the hospital? Let him know if he is coming. If he's staying for the duration of your stay, he cannot leave. Okay. Um, if he leaves for any reason whatsoever, they will not let him back in. Okay. Okay. So the baby car seat, let him know, hey, bring this in with us. So okay, So okay. that you guys don't leave it in the car. They, you, he can't even go out for it to bring it back for the baby. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. All right. And then did you have any questions for me? Um, I heard that we have to wear a mask. I wonder if, do they provide a mask or do you guys provide a mask or do we have to get one ourselves? I advise you to bring your own. But okay. yes, of course, they, they will give you one if you, I mean, if you go there and you don't have one. But again, I say bring your own. And do we have to wear it the whole entire time or like... Every time you guys come in a room, like how does that work out? So, uh, you, it's, it's based on your discretion. Once the doctors come in, they're gonna require you to put it on. But I mean, it, once they leave, you can take it off if you'd like to. Okay. Um, plus, you're gonna be COVID tested, so you know that the baby will be safe whether or not you have it on. Um, but again, you never know. So it's up to you if you want to wear it while you're in the hospital, um, after you've left so that you're as safe as possible. Um, and you know, when you're home and you're quarantined in your little area, there's nobody else coming in and out. So you know, the, the risk of you catching it um, is way less. If I test negative, I don't have to wear it or I still do during labor? Yes. Oh, even while pushing, right? Yes, as far as I'm aware, yes. Okay. Um, they're gonna require to wear it no matter what because uh, the thing is that when we talk, whatever comes out of our mouth will stick to it. Mm -hmm. So like the doctor is gonna be more four feet away from you. Alrighty then, have a wonderful rest of your day. You too, God bless. Thank you, bye-bye. Bye. All right, so they called me to schedule an induction and ask any questions. This is so weird, <gasps> I'm about to give birth. But hopefully I don't have to go to induction because that'll be a long time. I don't think it will be. Anyways, we're gonna go put Lily down now. I'll see you guys soon. All right, Lily is up from her nap. So she's gonna help Mr. Leo get his medication in and his food. Oh, she's like, um, can you guys hurry up? Uh, wait. <laughs> I love Lily's goat horns. So he just got a little fresh diaper. We have, we have to spray this on him and then put a new diaper on him like three or four times a day. He's like, come on guys, I'm waiting. Look at Leo with his diaper on. He's so cute. He's <laughs> Back up, back up, sit. No, thank you, no, thank you, no, thank you. Yo, sit. Wait. There you go. So right now we are outside, continuing the vlog. I'm gonna put in baby boy's car seat into the car. Lillian and Rachel are in here hanging out. Lillian is playing with all the toys that we brought home from Rachel's job the other day. I got the base installed here. I'm gonna sit on it and make sure it's nice and snug. So this is the one that clicks and connects, so we can just bring it in the hospital and then, boom. We got little baby Jay here. I'm in the car seat. 
And then, boom! Ooh, oh, <laughs> Lucas, I hit you. <laughs> we have a visitor today. What is it? Gecko. What is it? Gecko. Do you want to say hi? It's Hatsu. Mm, don't need to wash your hands really, really, really well. Gently. <laughs> hey, Mommy, can you get Hatsu? You want to keep him as a pet? We gotta bring him outside, baby. Like, like, he needs to eat. Just hold your hand like that, okay? Don't move. Don't move. Bye, lizard. All right, let's go wash our hands. Mm -hmm. Bye. 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 Oh man. <laughs> Early the next morning. This morning, Leo was bleeding about the same, so we ended up calling the vet, and they said bring him in immediately. We got a call a couple hours later, and they decided to do the surgery. They went back in. They cleaned out a bunch of jelly-like substance. They put, a, it's called a hemoblock, so to stop it from, from re-bleeding again. And then they stitched it up with like seven or eight stitches this time. They put extra stitches this time so that it doesn't open back up. He's still a little out of it right now just from all the sedation and he's waking back up. So they told us they wanted us to keep him really immobile so that he's not running around too much and that it looks a lot better now. So we're, you know, fingers crossed, prayers that this is the last time we have to do anything or bring him again. He's not gonna bleed anymore, right? He's not He's just, to. he's not supposed to bleed. No, I'm probably still gonna put a diaper on him just in case. Mm. I'll probably still put the diapers on him just in case and to give him some support down there, but. I it looks know. so good. It looks a lot better. It looks like normal, if that makes sense. Yeah. Look. Mm. Yeah, he has his cone off right now just because it popped when he got out of the car. So I gotta, I'm gonna clean it up and then put it back on. What a traumatic experience for this dog. I know. Oh, babe, he's been such a trooper. But let me see what they said. He said once all the clotting was flushed out, chemo block was implied inside the scrotum. So I guess there was a clotting in the scrotum. That is a jelly. A jelly-like substance, yeah. Oh man. I think he's just happy to be home too. We hope you enjoyed today's vlog. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button down below. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. We love you so much and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.